welcome back to BeHookedCrochet.com Holiday Edition. I'm your host Brittany and in today's tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to crochet the perfect spiral ornament. This is a free pattern that's available at BeHookedCrochet.com and you can find a link to that pattern in the description below. To complete one ornament you're going to need approximately 15 yards of white worsted weight yarn and a contrasting color. You'll also need a size four and a half millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and a pair of to scissors. To begin, we need to start out by creating the magic ring with our first color. Now the color that you start off with is going to be the color that you see down at the bottom of the ornament. So in this one I'm going to use red. And to create the magic ring, we just want to hold the yarn and we want to wrap it around the index finger and our middle finger of our non-dominant hand. We're going to do that coming towards us two times and then we just want to hold on to that strand underneath our thumb. We'll then grab our hook and we want to insert the hook underneath both loops. Now we want to make sure we're holding on to the yarn in the front and I'm holding on to the yarn here in the back. I want to grab this back strand and just work it right underneath that front strand. Now I've already got my working yarn set up coming at the back here and I want to just grab some of that yarn, make a yarn over, and then pull it through the loop on our hook. That's locking in the magic ring and now we want to chain one. So we'll grab the working yarn again and pull through the loop that was on our hook. Now we can go ahead and grab the yarn with our hook hand. We can slide our fingers out then that way we can gather up the yarn as we normally would. So I like to put my ring finger and my middle finger in the ring and then I've got the strand, the working strand here, that's what we pull to close up the ring. I keep that laying down in front. Now we want to make one single crochet into the ring. So we'll just insert our hook into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Now the next stitch we want to make is a half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Now we want to create two double crochet stitches. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the ring, yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two. Now we'll do that one more time. Okay, so now what we want to do is pull up the loop, that's our working loop, and we just want to pull our hook out and set this down for a second. Now we want to get our second color and we're just going to create a slip knot. So to make a slip knot we just want to wrap it around that index finger two times coming towards us. Pull the back strain over the front, pull the front up and over the tip of your finger and pull that tight. Now I've got that still on my finger. I'm going to pick up my magic ring and I'm holding the working yarn and the loop out of the way. I want to make sure I don't catch that up as I'm joining on this new color. So what I'm going to do is put my hook into the ring. Now I've got it under both of those loops. I'm going to secure that with my finger and then I'm going to place the new color on my hook. Pull that slip knot tight and then I just want to pull that through the, the circle and then I'm going to chain one and that's to securely fasten it on. And now we want to make the same stitch combination. We're going to do one single crochet, then a half double crochet, and then two double crochets. Okay, now we can pull up on this loop again. We'll remove our hook just for a second. And at this point we want to close up 
the magic ring. So you want to grab that tail from that first color and you just want to pull that tight to close up the ring. Now I like to kind of grab that the other color, the tail, and pull that through, pull the slip knot through so it kind of hides it. And now we're going to continue working with the second color yarn, or the white in my case. So I'm going to put my hook back into that loop. And now what I want to do is put two double crochets into every stitch. And we're going to start out by doing so in this single crochet that we made with the red yarn. So I'm going to double crochet two times into that first stitch. And now I'm going to locate the next stitch, which was a half double crochet. I'm going to double crochet two times into that stitch as well. And then I'm going to double crochet two times into the next stitch. And as we're working in this spiral fashion, we don't really have anything else to work into. Now we do have one other stitch that we could go on with, but it's just easier now to pull up a loop on that color we were just working on insert your hook into the loop from the first color and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find that single crochet stitch from the white, which is right here. We're going to put two double crochets into that stitch. and then two double crochets into the next. And we're just going to repeat that. We're going to put two double crochets into every single stitch until we have basically run out of room and we have to start off with the next color. When you've come almost all the way around to you've reached the other color, we can go ahead and drop the red and now we'll pick up the white and we're going to do this the same way. We're going to put two double crochets into every single stitch until we don't have any more room left. Now the idea here is to have 20 groups of two double crochets in order to finish off the ornament. That'll give us the proper size. So rather than count single stitches, what I've done here and what I like to do is just count it by the groups of two. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven groups of two. I want to have a total of 20. So I've got a little ways to go. Now I've reached a stopping point here on my white yarn 
and I want to go back and double check to make sure I have 20 groups of two double crochets. So I'm just going to count backwards. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. So this is now the stopping point for the white, but we don't want to bind off because this is the, the top portion of the ornament. And so we're going to create the loop that you would hang it on the tree off of. So we're just going to pull up a loop as we have been doing, drop that yarn. Now pick up your other color and work this until we have 20 sets of two. So again, just putting two double crochet into every single stitch. So we can use the white at the opposite side as sort of a visual cue to let us know because this is going to end up being, when we have 20 groups here, it's going to end up being exact opposite of the white side. So we're going to go ahead and count, make sure that we have 20 sets. Nineteen and twenty. Okay, so I have exactly twenty sets, which is what I want. Now we can go ahead and bind off this second color. So just trim yourself a tail that's just a few inches long, and then pull that tail through the loop on your hook. Now we'll pick up the white on the other side, and we're going to make twenty-four chains in order to make our loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and once you have your 24, we just want to extend that, make sure that we're not twisting it in any way. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down into, well, it's actually in between these two double crochets. We've got our group of two. I'm just going to put my hook into the space in between those. And I'm holding on to my chain here and then I'm just going to pick up my working yarn. I'm going to wrap that over my hook, pull it through, and then through again. So we're slip stitching. And then now we're ready to bind off. So we'll set that down, cut our tail, and then pull that loop through the loop on our hook. Now at this point, all we need to do is weave in our ends and we're finished. So you wanna pick up your darning needle and start with one of your tails. I'm gonna start with the one that's at our loop to hold it onto the tree. And now I'm gonna work this down into this double crochet right here and that's just because I want to work it down until I get to the point where the stitches are attached to the other color. I like to work in my ends under this portion of the stitch because it's really dense and it's really easy to hide. So I'm just going to pull it through a few stitches and we don't have to worry about this being super secure because as this is just an ornament it's not going to get a whole lot of wear and tear. So we'll just work it under several stitches and trim off the extra. And then now we'll start on the two ends at the center. And 
And again, we just want to work them under their coordinating color. So I'm going to pick several of the stitches here at the beginning. And then I'm going to keep going. So at this point right here, you may have this tiny little hole. And that's just where we started off, like basically where we started the spiral. That's how we put a single crochet, a half double, and then two doubles. And then we picked up the other yarn. Well, that little tiny gap is just the result of us jumping over that little gap at the very beginning. So you can typically hide that pretty well when you're weaving in your ends. You just pull it tight over that portion. And the white one here, I like to pull through pretty tight because this one we joined on with a slip knot and you can see right here, I like to pull the slip knot into the back, that way it's not visible from the front. So again, I'm just gonna work this under a few of these white stitches. And again, you can see that little tiny gap that I was talking about right here. You'll have it on both colors, and it's completely normal. But when you pull that tail really tight, it'll sort of close up that gap, and then you can't see it anymore. Okay, one more end is down here at the bottom. And again, I'm going to pull this one to the side and I'm just going to put it right into the middle of that post. And I'm doing that again just so I can work myself down to the dense portion of the stitches. And I'm just going to work under several. And you want to be careful not to pull this one too tight because then it'll kind of destroy your point there. So you want to pull it just tight enough. And there we have it. And this concludes our tutorial for today. On behalf of BeHoaxedCrochet.com, I'm your host, Brittany. Stay tuned for more free tutorials and free patterns at BeHoaxedCrochet.com.